What's up, people? 안녕하세요, 수요로쿤입니다. So today I'm going to talk about one of my favorite filmmaking gears, which is tripod. I know to some people tripod is boring, but this is one of the essential filmmaking gears in my workflow. Now, I used to be obsessed with camera movements. I think I still am a little bit, but uh, I would move my camera for pretty much every single shot, whether it's handheld or gimbal shot without knowing what different uh, effects each of these movements has. Every camera movement has its own way of storytelling. You put your camera on a gimbal and throw on a telephoto lens and do this. You get this chaotic sort of feeling and you can feel her emotion. You really get to feel what the character is feeling. On the other hand, if you do the same thing on tripod, same camera, and same lens, it's not as intense and it feels more like you're watching the character from someone else's perspective, unlike the gimbal shot you just saw. I know this is pretty a drastic comparison because the compositions aren't exactly the same, but you get the idea. I can also focus more on the composition and the lighting and other things in general when I put my camera on a tripod and look at the monitor right here, rather than trying to figure out everything while you're holding a heavy camera setup. Now, this specific model is called Free Blazer from Small Rig. They actually came out with this previous version of the tripod a while ago, and it was pretty popular, especially with that price point. And they recently released this upgraded version of that, and now this is one of my favorite filmmaking gears I personally own. First of all, this one is built like a tank. How do I know that? I used to be a tank driver back in the days. <laughs> so I can confirm that this thing is rock solid, and it feels, it feels premium, I would say. And this tripod tripod is made from carbon fiber, so it is relatively light compared to, you know, other bigger video tripods, but I wouldn't say this is a lightweight tripod because this is still uh, 5 kilo or 11 pounds. And if you're traveling a lot with a tripod like myself, you don't want to carry this thing around unless you have like huge arms like Peter Lindgren. And that's not what this tripod is made for anyway. If you want a lightweight tripod, then get a tripod like this. It's light, it's nice and compact. But this tripod right here is made for more like professional use. As your camera setup gets bigger and heavier, you're gonna need a solid tripod like this. Now, this thing can handle up to 10 kilo or 22 pounds. Please do not risk thousands of dollars that you spend on your camera and lenses by using a cheap tripod. Also, tripod is something that you're gonna use a lot for years, 10 years or more. So I can confidently say getting a good tripod is a good investment. And you don't want to show up with this travel tripod on set. I know it's ridiculous, but to most people who don't really know about filmmaking, the bigger our setup looks, the more legit and professional we look. Yeah, I know. Also, I tested both tripods to see how well they perform when panning and tilting, and this is the result. As you can see on the small wig tripod, it is much smoother. And with this treble tripod, I've noticed that the whole tripod shakes when it's a little windy. Of course, that's because this thing is so light. And it actually fell down with my camera setup on it a few times before. I know I should have used my backpack or something to make sure it was nice and steady, but it was an expensive lesson. So I do actually like the fact that this one has a little bit of weight to it to securely uh, support my gears. So here I'm trying to recreate the wind that blew my tripod away. And here's how it turned out. Also, if you accidentally touch your tripod while filming, here's how the footage looks like on both tripods. Here I tested both tripods to see how long it takes to get them all the way to their maximum height.
and this thing is compatible with both Manfrotto and DJI RS quick release plates which can be switched instantly with just one click. Now this feature can be a lifesaver if you're constantly switching from tripod to gimbal back and forth which I personally do a lot. Look how fast it can be from gimbal to tripod. Boom. Again, tripod to gimbal. And this handle can be attached on both sides. So if you're left-handed, you can easily detach it. And there you go. And overall, I'm really loving this design as well. Everything is well thought out. Like this silicone grip underneath here, it feels really nice to grab and there's a little gap in between the legs and the grip. So even if you accidentally just drop it, you're not gonna break your fingers. So, is this tripod perfect? No. I personally love low angle shots, so I often put my tripod as low as possible until the camera is almost on the ground, but you can't really do that with this tripod. The lowest you can get is about 0.9 meters, but I can't really complain. With this price point, you're getting a lot really. Right through for the right job, right? Okay, that's it for today, and if you want to support this channel, just simply like, comment, subscribe, because that really helps. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.